Hey guys, today I want to show you how to add a full screen image slider in Elementor. So we already have this cool box slider with these nice pictures of dessert making us hungry here even though I don't even like dessert. And this is just really like a bunch of columns so we can see that this is a column here um, and then this is just a image carousel. So you could easily build something like this but what if you want to put the image slider at the top up here? instead of having this background uh, video. Well, to do that, we can add a new section. Cool, and then we're gonna go to our elements and drag in an image carousel. If you can't find it, just search. And then click and hold and drag it in. All right, so nothing yet. We gotta select some images. Let's click the plus button. And let's just go ahead and start adding. So we have Santorini, Dog Out of the Window, Surfer Lady, and a Forest. And the beaches, just for the heck of it. And we'll click Create a New Gallery. You can drag the images to a different order if that makes you happy. And click Insert Gallery. Okay, cool. So nothing really to look at here. It's just a bunch of images. So we need to change the image size from thumbnail to how about full. Great. Slides to show. Let's go to just one. All right, image stretch, we could try yes, but usually we want the images to not be stretched or distorted. Navigation, I like just arrows personally, and then you can also link this if you want and put a caption if you want. All right, so we're not there yet though because it's not full screen and there's still some annoying white space. So let's go to style, position, you know, you can change the arrows to being inside or outside. Inside seems a little more normal. And we can make those arrows bigger, change their color. And in advance, we can basically mess with everything from the background to the border to the positioning. Let's try positioning. And width, let's try full width. Okay, it didn't do a lot for us there. So it looks like, as is often the case in Elementor, we have to adjust the outer section settings that um, is outside of this image carousel. So I'm going to come up to the six dots up here, click on the section settings, and now let's try to stretch it. Content width, full width. Okay, we're getting somewhere. For columns gap, let's do no gap. Beautiful. Almost there now. All right, so that columns gap, no gap was a big one. And then height, let's try fit to screen. All right, let's go ahead and update and let's see how this looks because sometimes on the front end it'll look a little different than in the elementary editor. Let's go to startawordpresswebsite.com where we're working. And we can see we did pretty good here with the image slider which contains the um, navigation menu. But we're definitely not done yet. Man, that puppy gets me every time. And the reason we're not done yet is because some of these images just don't like covering the whole screen. It's not a big deal, but we're going to need to get rid of those images. Let's go back to Elementor and let's click on the image carousel and then go to content. And we got to get rid of that beach one. So, beautiful beach somewhere in Tahoe, I think, but it's gone. And update. And it looks like one more thing that needs to be changed is the height. So let's go to image size custom. And this should help us um, create a slider, which doesn't go too tall. We ideally just actually want it to touch the bottom of the screen or even up a little bit from there. So we can leave the width alone and try a height of say 400 and apply it. And that could screw up everything. So let's give a width of 100% and apply that. Now we're looking a little better. Let's try to update it and See how that worked. I think it might be just in the middle of the screen though. Okay, so at least you know how to make a skinny image slider now. You would just adjust the height, but that's not going to work for us because we want the image slider to be behind the navigation menu. So let's actually get rid of this custom image size, make it full again. We're almost there now. Our slider images are covering the full screen, which we want. But if we look at the bottom edge of the images, there's some difference in the height of each image. 
So to control that, you can either crop down each image to the exact same size in width and height pixels, or we can go back to Elementor, and change that image size to custom, and then we can give ourselves some parameters like 100% width and height of say 1000. Apply that and make sure to update and refresh. And that'll make it so you can actually control where the bottom of the image is. See, now every image bottom edge is at the same point down here. And we might want to bring it up even more to like, you know, maybe 875. Apply. And this is where you can use your own judgment and play around with how tall you want your image slider to be. All right, pretty cool. Drop it up a little more, maybe even 800. So there's some other cool, perhaps not necessarily desired effects, like you could have your logo kind of floating on top of part of the slider, or you can just make it look standard where the logo is actually above the slider. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a full screen image slider in Elementor. Go ahead and play around to your heart's content. Uh, let me know any questions you have in the comments, and of course if you want to put text on top of the slider or other pieces of content like buttons, you can do that all as well. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Greg Ryan, and thanks for watching.